morning everybody. Um, welcome back. We're going to do a create with me today. Um, Saturday I had a bit of time to myself and I put, as I do, sometimes I put on, you know, somebody on YouTube a video and it, this week it was Artie Mays. I was following her. She was tackling her little scrap pile and uh, I was watching her and it really inspired me to do the same thing because mine was getting out of hand and if you follow me on on Instagram you will have seen these <coughs> I posted <coughs> the um, end result so I thought today um, we would just make some together um, let's see here I wanna snip that off so I just took you know sometimes you do um, you print out some things and you get a misprint. So I'd been hanging on to those papers and I just folded them out, made some pockets, did a little um, a cutout here, and then I've just did some collaging. And then these are the Tim Holtz um, wildflower uh, die cuts. And then I just, some of these are some of Artie Mae's butterflies and I've just attached those down. So um, these little tags are from Seneca Pond and she's got those in her shop now and I thought they were just perfect for this so I'll put the link below for that because these are such beautiful um, little tags to add to your collection so let's just get started and I'll show you guys how I came uh, about to to make those so one of the things I did while I was watching Artie Mays, uh, Andrea, was I just did some of the Franken pages. And if you watch Nick the Booksmith, um, she is the one that sparked this. So uh, thank you, Nick, for that idea. So I just sat there and just took various things. And I thought, for me, I'm not going to use these in journals. I'm going to actually... Um, fold these up and make little envelopes, floating envelopes, because I prefer to use mine that way. So that's how I ended up with the base of these. And like I said, it's just various things. If I had um, torn book pages from when I was trying to pull it from the book, um, I've, I've just hung on to these, and that's why my stash has just gotten ridiculous. Um, so let's see, I thought I had one laid out here. To, oh, yeah, I do. So I thought we'd start with this one, because um, that's a really good size. And what I'm going to do is just take it over to the machine. This was some um, cabbage dyed paper, and I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to take it to the machine and stitch this down and then put a little notch, and this will just be a floating pocket within the journal. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I've been to the machine, and I've did a zigzag stitch down here and then just put a little notch there because that way we can have some tags or probably this one being as big as it is I'll probably do a a big journal card with some uh, vintage lace because that's pretty big for a tag so um, so yeah this project is going under the assumption that you've already <clears throat> created some Franken pages and if you're curious about that, just do a search on YouTube, and there are numerous people who have um, who have done it after Nick the Booksmith, but she's the one that I um, first found this from. So the other thing um, I w I've done is I've went ahead and cut out some of the the little wildflowers because I think those are really pretty. Oh, I must get some butterflies. Um, so yeah, these are um, from Artie Mays and I believe this was the Back to Nature kit. I'm pretty sure that this was in there, but it's in one of Artie Mays kits, so um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the Back to Nature one because it was a lot of blues. and So this is an awesome sheet because you get all of these butterflies that you can fussy cut. So um, 
I'll put the link below to that, sh that uh, listing as well. And then Santa Capons as well. So, and this is um, Artie Mae's collage kit that she's come out with recently. So I'm going to be working with this page because I really think it's nice to have a, a focal point and then we'll have that butterfly. But I want some kind of floral. So, um, okay, let me just get some glue here. And then my ink. Okay, there we go. So, I'm just going to start doing this and uh, you guys can just, you can see, well, I think you, most of you are into the crafting, so I'm just going to try to just do the process and you can see what I'm doing. It's funny because I've gotten to where I'm, I'm distressing, or you know, with the ink more, I'm using the, um, this is the vintage photo, and I used, I really didn't, I don't know, it's funny, because now I'm, I'm liking the black thread, I'm liking more inking, I guess it's just another thing, my, um, style is still evolving, um, which is nice, I, li I'm, I like to keep changing, I don't want to get stuck in one thing, um, because there's so many things I see out there, and and I just I I just love all of the different styles, um, and not you know, not each of them I can create or want to create, but I can appreciate other people's uh, you know like the steampunk and the grunge. It's not what I create, but I still love to see you know, different ladies coming out. It's just a, such an interesting community. There is so much talent here. It um, It's quite overwhelming because it's difficult to keep up with all the notifications from everybody and you want to comment on everything but you just, time just won't allow. Uh, but there are some amazing artists um, in the junk journaling world, junk journaling world, and just when you think, oh, you know, it's kind of all been done, somebody else will come out with something that's just completely different. So yeah, I really enjoy, um, and I enjoy taking courses when I can afford to do it, because um, aren't we fortunate that now? We can take a course from uh, the comfort of our own home. Um, because I recently, <clears throat> I'd say it was about four or five months ago, I was checking into a more advanced uh, book making course. And it was, a, it was one being offered in London. And goodness knows, I, I wouldn't even know how I could have done something like that. But... I just was intrigued. I thought, well, I'm just curious to see. And do you know, for one day, that was 850 pounds for this, this place that was offering it. And that's not even your journey down there. The accommodation, which, you know, that, that was just totally out of my price range. But it just goes to show you that... Um, we're so, so fortunate that we can, um, we've got so many talented people offering courses now. And we don't have to worry about accommodation or traveling. We can just do it right here in our uh, little happy space. So I'm grateful for that. And I do, you know, try to, to keep learning. Because I, like I told you, yeah, you know, I don't want to get stuck in one, one style. I guess everybody's got a, a specific style, but oh, look at that! That's going to be pretty, I think. <coughs> I love that against that. That almost looks like denim. That uh, particular piece, that cabbage dyeing was very interesting, and I don't know. I'm sure it's 
the chemistry, but you dye that paper and it would dry this almost a purpley blue. And then I always iron my papers after I've dyed them. When I'd hit that with iron, it comes back up pink. Fascinating. And it didn't matter how long I had let the paper set. It still, if you hit that with with heat, it'll still go to a pink shade. And then when it cools down, it go back to... And I'm just intrigued by that because I, I just... It was so cool. I, I named it Mood Paper because it just always changing. So, so interesting. Okay, where's my bone folder today? Monday, he needs to be back in his little workspace. Okay, so, yeah, I really like how that's coming out. Now, I want to put some of these... Um, I just took, I've got loads of cardstock left over from my uh, stamping up days. So I've just started cutting out various things that I can, because uh, it's a good use of that cardstock. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Let me use that one. I'll de ink that up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm still hanging on to some of that because this is a good use of it. It's just... It's another project I really need to spend um, a couple of days, really, and just cut out, cut out, cut out. <laughs> but I get bored. I, I make up my mind on the morning. I think, well, I'm okay. Today, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll get in here. Sorry, guys. I've got to get this glue on. Um, I get in here and... Uh, I'll get me something on music or something and then cut, 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 cut. And I get I make make it 30, 40 minutes and my attention span's gone by then. So it never really pans out the way I'm thinking it's gonna. This is totally the wrong glue glue for this, but I am so out of my little precision precision tip and I've got keep saying I'm going to order it, and I never do it. Sorry guys, I'm on a real ramble today. It's Some days I um, my focus isn't great. <clears throat> I've noticed it over the last couple of days. I can always tell, and I don't know, I, if you're of a similar age, you'll totally relate to it, but you're in a bit of a fog, and I've been like that for about a week now, and I'll be glad when the fog lifts. <laughs> It is, uh, I've always had really good focus, but my gosh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about if you're in your 50s, and I do know all this technology doesn't help. Yeah, I've, I've got to get some more glue because that's just... And I want to order one of those glue uh, adhesive erasers again because I left mine out. I thought I had it packed to bring over and uh, it got shoved in the storage unit, I'm afraid. So, oh, I like that. So, I think a little butterfly... But you know what? Let me see. Ari Mays has got another in her spring... This is already May's folder. I keep, I start to keep all my designers uh, separate, and these are just things I've had left, or I'm printing for future. Um, but I'm sure I've got some other. This will give you guys a really good view of of her work. Oh, she does beautiful stuff. I like all, all my designers are incredible though. I like they're all just ah, uh, where is my butter? Let's see, maybe I've already cut those little guys up. Okay, just one second, guys. I got another one here. This is my tiny stuff that I've already cut up and it's a, just a mix of of everybody. 
I'm hoping I may have to print out because they're ah there we go there we go that's what I was looking for here's a big one and these are from Artie Means uh, Touch of Spring I think that might I don't know maybe I, maybe the blue I don't know. Let's see. Let's cut one. And then, let's see. I found my scissors after I purchased those. I found these again, but um, I think I'm actually going to have to buy another pair. I've seen these, the Tim Holtz ones that have like the really wide um, grip. Because these are really hurting my hands at night. I started doing my fussy cutting at night to try to... Uh, just trying to get on top of things, honestly. And, yeah, it's really bothering my hands now. So, I think I'm going to order me a pair of those uh, this week as well. Got to get... Because uh, they are hurting. My finger's terrible. Sorry guys, I, f I feel like I'm starting all these conversations and then just getting off on a whole other thing. And so I do apologize if I'm jumping all over today. I've had terrible, terrible nights on uh, not sleeping again. And uh, it's just, uh, yeah, that's too pale. I'm going to go with the blue. Um, yeah, the sleep's just been awful. <clears throat> He's quite nice. You wouldn't have thought, but I think actually that might be the one to go with. Um, so that's not helping. If I get a good night's sleep, I really seem to be quite focused and can get a lot accomplished. We've got um, my stepson and his partner coming in the end of the week for a little visit. They're just going to be here a couple nights. And we uh, we always play games when they come. They like to play cards. And they're some of the very, there's very few people I know anymore that play cards. So it's nice to uh, have somebody that we can play. So that's going to be nice to look forward to. And my super exciting news is my son is coming in July. Uh, my daughter can't come this year because her and her husband are getting ready to move from Tallahassee down to Orlando. So they were considering coming over, but obviously that's the big thing they're doing this year. Um, so I'm really bummed that I won't get to see her, but I'm so excited to see my boy because um, he's not. I've not seen him in a year. Uh, the last time I saw him was in D.C. when we did our road trip last year before we moved back. Um, and that was in, um, I went back through there at the beginning of July and saw him. So we will have been a year um, since I've seen him. And then my daughter will be August, will be a year. So I'm really, this is probably part of what's going on with me at the moment. It's been so long. I'm I'm all right for about six to eight months, maybe, in a push. But then after that, man, I get homesick, terrible. And uh, so I'm really excited that he's coming over because I just I can't afford to go back right now. Um, I think he'd be nice up there in that little space. And oh, I like these. Should I put some twine on this one? I will. I didn't put it on the others, but I'll wrap some. So all I do on this is just wrap it around it a couple times. I used to have some of the little Tim Holtz, um, uh, you know, the little safety pins, and those are very sweet to put in the center of them, but I think I've run out of those, and I, I just can never think to order because they're very cute to put on. Uh, um, so 
So yeah, I'm super excited because I'm, I'm going to get to spend um, a week and a half. He's coming for a week and a half, so um, I will be uh, missing in action that week because I'm going to spend that whole time with my boy. Actually, that's not really uh, working on that one. I'll see, see why, because it's got a big body, and it's just uh, leaning to, to one side. So I'm snipping that off. That didn't work on in this, this one. Now, if it's a really thin one like these, the string will look really sweet on that. Let me see if I've got... Uh, let me see if I've got something else. Shuffling around trying to find something here, guys. Just okay. No, that doesn't really work. Okay. We're just going to go with him. Just put a little line down the center because I, I want to be able to lift his wings up there. Okay, so here we are. Just need to do a journal card for that when I get ready and that one will be done. Okay, so yep, just two seconds. I'm going to grab something. Okay, guys, I decided I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, journal card because I'm going to use some more of this paper. I think that'd be really pretty. Um, let me get this out of the way. about where I want it the end. Let me see. I'm going to go Yeah, I'm just going to do one of these to coordinate with that. Alright, I'm just going to glue that down and I can come back and trim that. I want to do some stitching so I'll run this over to the machine quickly. I love these papers. They really do. Um, Give such a nice effect without you having to do a lot of work. <laughs> so it's really nice if you uh, you want that collage look, but don't want to drag the Mod Podge out. Okay, guys, I'm going to trim this, run it through the machine, and I'm going to back it with some coffee dyed paper. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I've been to the machine. I just stitched that. And I backed it with um, this craft colored um, shipping paper. Um, I did a uh, faux envelope or pocket, yeah, envelope um, leather, <laughs> faux leather <laughs> uh, pocket tutorial. And I used this and I think it confused 
uh, some of the ladies. This is what I was referring to is this shipping paper that you can pick up on a roll. Um, so that's what I've used here, but I used that in that tutorial as well. Sorry, there you go, all over the place. So that's, I've just backed it with that. Um, let me do a bit of distressing. And I added a little snippet of uh, lace there. So I'm just going to distress this up a little bit. And um, I decided... that I think, there we go, I think the back really needs a little pocket, so I've cut this, and I'm going to use some more paper, cover that, and just add a little pocket there, because I think it needs something, I like that a little piece there, so... papers. Okay, We're nearly done with this and then I'll show you guys a couple of the little journals I'm working on. I've got a, quite a few started but um, a couple I should be completing this week, I'm hoping. So I'm just going to do a little snip on this. Since this is going to be a floating pocket, we'll see. Be seeing that. So, um, okay, let's get a bit of this. Now that the weather's warmed up, this isn't bothering my. I've got the window open, so it's not bothering me as much. But I'm trying not to use this. Uh, this stuff is very, you know, I just when I have to, because that is strong. <coughs> yeah, see, it gets me going every time. <laughs> let's see, let's put a little bit of, I've got these cut out already, I may as well put... That's really sweet. Okay, let me see if I can go with a different glue this time. It's so messy, but I can clean this one up easier than I can the other. Fold it right off. I hear I was thinking, oh, that's gonna, that's gonna stick, no problem. But it pulled it off. Okay, let me try this again. It usually works fine. Then I'll just snip that little bit there. So now we've got. That's the front. <clears throat> that's the little journal tag. Could do writing on that. And then here's another pocket, and I will add a, um, I'll add one of Eileen's tags to that. So there you go, guys. That's, that's how I spent my Saturday, was this kind of thing. Um, 
so I will set these to the side now and I'll show you a couple of things I'm working on this week. Um, so I've got a design team project going for Love Junk Journals and I'm going to be using the Oola Chic kit again. Uh, da, 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 where are they? Oh goodness, where did I go with those? Here we are. I've got a couple of mini, mini journals. And I'm not going to I'll tell you more when I do the flip through on that. That's all I can show you so far. So I've got I've got that in the works. This one. I'm delighted with that. I told you I had all these um, little cotton pieces and then I had some of this um, thicker material I picked up at the flea market so I just sat down and did a um, a bit of a patchwork you know my my uh, my version of a patchwork because these are all um, uh, they've not been tucked under I forgot what they call this but anyways I did that uh, last week and then I did this kind of a primitive heart and then this was some um, of my finds that I've snipped around because I can't do embroidery so I thought that was just precious. So this is a two signature. <coughs> There's the starts of it and that's all I can show you on that one at the moment but that will be done towards the end of the week. Um, and then I've still got a couple of journals that I've had. Uh, I had them in my Etsy shop and they didn't uh, sell before I closed. So these have been put over to um, my website now. So these are three little minis I've got left that are in my shop if anybody's interested in those. And then I've got um, this baby journal. It's a five signature so this is a one year um, there is a, um, if you go to my shop, if you're interested in this, go to my shop. Within the listing, there is the link to the flip through on this journal. And this is a big, this, this is I, a, like a year, a, ba a year, first year baby journal because it's five signatures. So there's lots of room for um, documenting, you know, little milestones within the first year. So that's in my shop for sale. Then I've still got um, the postcard journal is left. Um, it's got the little jingle. Um, so that's I've got a video flip through of this one as well. So the, those are the journals I've still I've got in my shop for sale, guys. And like I said, hopefully um, by the end of the week I should have um, three more journals going in. So. Um, that's going to keep me pretty busy this week, I think. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial today. And uh, I appreciate you so much for coming and crafting with me. I will be back um, very soon. Hi, guys. Okay, so um, this weekend I got the chance to do some car boots. You know I love that. So I thought I'd just, uh, for those of you that are interested, I thought I'd just show you my haul. Um... So everything came from two car boots, and this is a obviously a pillow sham, but I love the pattern on that, and I don't quite know how I'm going to make use of it yet. But I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. it such a pretty floral, so I picked that up. You know, I told you guys it tends to go in. Um, you know, I might go a couple of weeks with nothing, and that's exactly what happened again. And then this week, wow, I really did clean up. This was another one. Um, I love that. And like I said, I don't, I st <laughs> I don't, when I see these things, I don't always know exactly how I'm going to use them, but the colors in this, 
I couldn't resist it. It's beautiful. And two, sometimes when I get to, after I get them all washed and pressed, because um, that's part of my ritual. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of weird that way. I love to wash and press linen. Um, so once I've done that, if there's no stains on this, I probably will hoard it because that's how I am. I told you guys I got a beautiful um, little collection. I like the small ones, you know, maybe um, little squares. I love to do up displays, you know, with that. And I told you I've got my antique um, dishes. Um, so oftentimes I'll keep that stuff. And I, I don't know if I told you guys I ended up doing my daughter's wedding with all my um, vintage linens. This was just a really, I don't even know what it was, but I loved the colors in that, and I could imagine this as an autumn, um, and maybe even just taking a small portion. If it's too busy, I might just take a small portion of that, you see, and stitch that, so I had to have that. <laughs> um, this piece, was a, it just was in there. I, I wouldn't have bought this, because that's not even embroidered. That's just a print. So I wouldn't have bought that, but that managed to get wadded up in there somehow. Now this is beautiful because I love uh, purples. And this is another piece. I'll be honest, I probably will end up hoarding this one because once I get this washed and pressed, I think it's just, look at that work. Beautiful. That's just a beautiful piece there. And that's a quite a big tablecloth, that one is. So that'll probably end up in my little collection, um, which is always growing, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so on to the journal cover material. So these are um, curtain panels, and I've got a couple of sources um, that are home clearance. And... Um, they just dump this stuff out there, and oh my goodness, this woman must have been hoarding. I think she said she had four weeks worth that she combined, but I don't know if the camera's going to show you, but what I loved about this is it looks like faded denim, and it's got some real subtle differences in the color. It's not a solid, so I am crazy over this one. This is going to be some journals coming up, guys. Love that piece, and there's a lot in there. And then this was interesting. Um, very much a watercolor, but I liked the colors because, you know, I'm drawn to turquoise. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. This, you know, and I'll be honest, these are such large pieces. I'm actually thinking about doing a few more uh, fabric bundles. So, if anybody is interested, please let me know below because I'm not sure. There's so many people doing it now. And um, I know the cost from the UK, you know, if you're not living in the UK, I know it can be pricey. And so I, if you're interested, do leave me a comment below. This was another piece. I thought the colors, look at that shade of green there. That's beautiful. So I'm, I, I can see a couple of journals coming from that. Lots of florals this time, guys. Um, this is a pretty one because I love the um, the colors in that one as well. And these are good, heavy um, cottons. And that's what I really like to work with because that thin stuff is great for um, collaging. But for my journal covers, you want this sturdier. And for ruffles, I find this is really, this makes beautiful, beautiful ruffles. Um, so that's another piece. And this one, I don't know what I can do with it because this is a different material than I've ever worked with. It appears to um, to be something that could be turned into a journal cover, but I won't know until I start cutting into it because, you know, I'm not that experienced with sewing yet. But I loved the colors on that. I thought autumn for sure. And this is probably my, how weird is this, but this is probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Because it's it's got the denim stripe and then these daisies. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that pattern. And that is a 
huge, huge piece. So I, I'll never get through that much. So again, if, if anybody's interested, I'm, I am considering. But it's a lot of time. If you've ever done the fabric bundles, well, any of the bundles, um, it is time consuming to do. And I hate to do all that if there's not the interest for it. Because as I said, I know there's a lot of folks doing it right now. And it's just time. It's got it's time. This has got a bit of gold in there. But isn't it funny? This week was like blues. I found so much blue stuff, which was really nice because um often you don't find a lot of blue, so I was really pleased about that. Okay, so let me show you the next car boot I went to, which is my favorite one. There was a couple of ladies out there who were interior uh <clears throat> designers. That's not the price I paid. That's the width of it. It's 50 centimeters. I wouldn't have probably picked this up, but she had a deal. If you bought five pieces, um, you got a set price. So this was the only other one I could find that I like because I'm really into this sage green in the journals at the moment. So that's a nice big, big piece. Look at that. That is just, and this is that <coughs> heavy um, upholstery type. I guess that's what you, yeah, I wish I knew, guys. I feel silly up here because I don't know exactly what uh, what you would call this, but oh, you can so see journal covers with that. And I'm not normally into red, but um, that, I think, with um, some collaging, that's going to make, that's, look at, you got enough. There's four, I could get four big journal covers out of that piece. So there was that one. This one's not that exciting, probably on camera. It's just a, a plain beige, but it's really heavy, nice fabric. And what I liked about that, you've got a neutral then to work with. Um, and I can see this with the Artie Mays um, calendar images again that's going to really set that off so this is a massive piece of that I've got and my husband I'm telling you when he saw me he he looked at me like woman you've gone mad because you wouldn't believe the fabrics I've got now um, this is what I said I, I may have to do something <laughs> in this piece I love because you know I love blush pink and that one is fabulous. This is a huge, huge piece of, of fabric. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, well, it's a it's wide. I don't know. I'm guessing at least five yards of that, and that is so. That's gonna just feel amazing. So there's that one, and then look at this one. So anybody who's into the Bohemian, oh my gosh, and another massive, this has got to be at least five yards of this, guys. Um, so yeah, I was tickled when I found those ladies. I was like, oh, and that was on my way out, and I spotted them. And at that point, Paul just looked at me, and he said, I'll meet you at the car. <laughs> he knew I wasn't even going to be budging from that stand until I bought something. So, um... So that's got me good for, you know, I've got my flea market. Let me dust this off here. Um, i got my flea market coming up very soon, and I'm so excited to do that. Okay, so that's the end of the fabric that I picked up. Let me move on to the next bit. Um, so Tracy Fox showcased this little book on her thrift finds and of course when I saw Tracy had it I was on the lookout and I walked into town after doing a postal run and uh, lo and behold the little thrift shop had it so I thought oh wow and it was a pound so I thought well for that I'm going to get it because these pages they have got a wonderful feel to them plus the images are nice but I like the the feel of these I can see some fabulous envelopes coming up with that. So yeah, that was a pound. 
so I, I snapped that up and so thank you Tracy for putting me on the, the uh, lookout for that now this one I this was two pounds and I wouldn't have probably paid it but look at the images in this and this is old I couldn't even find well this has got to be old because when it sold it was only 90 pence but I when I at first glance I never did even see oh here we go 69 but look at the images in that for a um, sewing theme journal or just you know some interest because I often just mix my stuff up um, because I just think it's really cool when you're going through the journal to have something that's a little bit different so that's those um, those were from the flea market. Now everything else here I picked up at the car boot. Um, and this was a just a quirky. It's on gardening, but what I liked about it is it's just got interesting little. And I could see this. I thought, well, that's going to be really cute. And I like the orientation of the page. I thought, well, that's perfect to add in um, to some nature journals. This is, uh, yeah, that's really, a really, really cute little, look at that. And it's got, by each month, that week, what you should be doing. I, I ought to be keeping that, actually, because <laughs> we're trying to get into our gardening. Okay, so, love this one. I, I probably, in hindsight, wouldn't have picked this up, but she kind of, she worked me a deal because I'd bought so many things. So it's another thing that I'm thinking, I don't know, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have picked this up. It's not really what I generally, I mean some of the birds I would probably put in, but anyways, that was that. This is sweet. This is a really sweet one. This has got, this is more to my liking. These And what was pretty, look at that. I love how they run that, because I thought, well you could cut that and put that sew that to a page and wouldn't that be pretty so there's that and then it's got some um, ooh, the mushrooms everybody's into the mushrooms at the moment yeah this has got some beautiful images so you might want to keep an eye out for that book that's beautiful and here we go here's Edith can you believe that I got all three of these from one seller, and this one, um, uh, I don't know, there are some beautiful images in here, but I'm thinking, I'm quite interested in her little story, so I think I'm going to read this through first, um, because I, t I don't know if I told you guys, but she was based not far from where I first moved to when I came to England. So I'm quite interested to read that book before I cut into it. But these two, I'm going to tell you guys. One, two, three, four, five. I've got six Edith Holden books at the moment. Two I am keeping for myself because I love, I think, I just love to sit and read it. I love the way they wrote things back then. It's just, to me, such a relaxing book just to thumb through and read. So two of them I'm keeping, but I've got four of these. Um, I'm never going to sell these as a whole book again because I got hurt so badly on the shipping uh, last time. I underestimated what it was going to cost. But what I am considering, I know a lot of ladies are saying it's getting really hard to find them, so I may come up with a, um, I think I'm going to do a book page bundle if I've got time. I've got French pages, German pages, I've got Edith Holden, um, I've got a lot of things I could combine. So there again, if you guys are interested, I would... I don't know. I'd probably do those separate to the fabric because some people aren't into fabric. So just leave a comment below if you guys are thinking that that might be something you're interested in. Um, and then I had to pick up this. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm crazy about cows. And this was just, just 
somebody had had drawn that and had taken it down and framed it and I just loved it because it's it's just so sweet so I got that for my craft space um, so I've got to get that up this weekend okay I'm, I'm sorry I'm losing my train of thought again so get all my little books put away all right that's my books okay so then oh sorry there was one more here and that this is going to be perfect for some collaging. So that is, a, and what I like about this, it's a tiny book, so it's not going to take up too much space in my room. This, I don't know why I picked it up, but I like the shape of those. It was, um, I don't know. You know, sometimes you get home and you think, well, what the heck was I thinking? But I just, I love that. And then it has a little pot, so I, these I thought I could cut in half and make a little um, pocket, but actually I might do the same with that because if I snip that down the center, I could glue that. That would be cute, and then collage on the little boot. How cute for gardening! So there you go. I guess I am glad I bought those. Um, those would be sweet. And then I've got envelopes in there that I'll make use out of. So I got those. But this, I couldn't believe that there was a fella out there, um, and one of his friends had passed away, and she was a big, big crafter. I've never seen these. I've never used these, and I've never seen them in the UK. Um, but I know um, Donna Turner shows these a lot. Um, and I'm always, every time Donna puts up a post, I think, oh my gosh, I want to be back home. Because she gets fantastic stuff. So when I spotted these, I went over and started talking to him. And we got to chat. And, <coughs> and he, you know, he told me how he'd come to, um, to get them. Let's see if I can get in and show you guys. Oh, this one's, look at that. That's going to be beautiful. Beautiful image on that. So anyways, I picked those up like I need more stamps, right? But that's a pretty one, too. And this one, I didn't even know till I got home, that's three separate stamps. I thought it was just the dandelion. But then, look at that. That's going to be beautiful for um, just little background so, yeah, I'm, I've got to start working with my stamps a bit more. So, that's it, guys. Um, that's my haul from the weekend. Uh, where is it going to go? And that's the next question. So, thanks so much for joining me. And, um, yeah, if you would, just leave some comments below if, if you think that's in, anything anybody's going to be interested in. Fabric bundles and book page bundles. So, I will see you guys back here very soon. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.